close your eyes and take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. And notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention there. And then ask yourself if it's comfortable. If long breathing is comfortable, keep it up. If it's not, you can change. Try to find a rhythm that feels good in the body. There may be pains in some parts of the body, but find a section of the body where you can make it comfortable by the way you breathe. That gives you a source of well-being inside. It's a wealth that you have inside. We live in a world where people are doing all kinds of things. People treat us well, people don't treat us well. People treat one another well, and they don't treat one another well. But we want to make sure that our goodness doesn't get affected by other people's good or bad behavior. If other people have to be good before we're going to be good, we can't trust ourselves. We want to have an independent source of wealth and inside. And that's, that's what the meditation gives you. If you have a sense of well-being that doesn't have to depend on things outside, then your inner goodness and the goodness of your actions outside has an independent source of energy. It doesn't have to depend on other people being nice to you or not being nice to you. You can trust yourself to be good all the time. My teacher had a lot of students in Thailand who were workers in the electricity generating authority. And they would comment to me on how much they liked working there, because the people at the top of the, the corporate ladder were very honest. They were independently wealthy, so they didn't need to be corrupt. Unfortunately, they'd been well trained in the Dharma, so they had a good sense of right and wrong. And because they were independently wealthy, there was no temptation to take this or take that under the table. And it meant that the whole corporation was honest. It was a good place to work. So it shows you the influence that one person with an independent source of wealth can do. If your goodness is constant, you can trust yourself, other people can trust you. Because our goodness is our main possession we have as we go through life. This body we have is going to grow ill, it's going to get old, it's going to age. Even our minds may begin to go a little bit. But if you develop good habits, in other words, your, your goodness is independent inside, then it doesn't matter what happens to the body. You've got something good to take with you. And you've got something good to share while you're here. And John Suat used to like to say, each of us has only one person. There's only one person that we're responsible for, ourselves. And our problem is we like to go around straightening other people out. We should spend our time straightening ourselves out. And if we can find our inner resources, make the most of them, then we have enough for ourselves and enough to share. So there's plenty inside in terms of the good potentials in your body, the good potentials in your mind to be developed. You start with the breath, getting the mind focused with the breath, because that develops both body and mind. The breath is the bodily function that is most amenable to your control, and you can do all kinds of things with it. And as the mind gives itself a good place to stay here, it soothes its raw nerves. It's irritation of the world outside. It can be good from within with a sense of plenty, a sense of inner wealth, that you have more than enough. Don't be the kind of people who go around constantly hungry saying, I'm not enough, not enough, not enough. They're human beings, but they're hungry ghosts. You want to be a full human being. And that starts by developing the resources you have inside, so your goodness is independent. It's based on independent wealth, something you can trust. <laughs>